The infrared module of the Flipper Zero is pretty straightforward. This module allows you to capture, save, send, and import infrared signals. Multiple signals can be combined, including all the functions you want to control from your Flipper Zero. This video shows you how to add a remote with multiple signals to your Flipper Zero. First step is capturing a signal from a remote we want to copy. In the Flipper menu, go to Infrared, then Learn New Remote. The Flipper Zero is now waiting for a signal. Simply place the remote infrared emitter in front of the infrared transceiver of the flipper. Press the button. I start with the power button. When it's captured, save the signal, name it. The remote is automatically created. To add a new button, you can click the plus sign or navigate to the edit button menu and then add button. We repeat this process adding all the remote functions we want to control from our flipper. For this example, our remote will include the power, volume up, volume down, and source switch of the remote. You already know that we can add a button, but you can also rename a button, delete a button, rename the remote, and delete a remote in the edit menu. When all the functions are added in the Flipper remote, we can verify that everything is working. To import pre-made infrared remotes, check IRDB to see if the remote you need already exists. You can download the IRDB repository locally, go on code, download the zip file and extract it on your computer. Search in the folder for the remote that you want to use and drag the IR file in the Flipper infrared folder using QFlipper. Finally, you can find universal remotes in the Flipper Zero. Those remotes are made by linking multiple samples of the same function from different devices. Let's say multiple power on button from multiple remotes. Then, when you press the remote power on, it plays all the samples one after the other, and if your TV is compatible with one of the samples, it'll power your TV on or off. Of course, if your TV is not compatible with one of the samples, nothing will happen. Thank you for watching this video, if you found it useful, please like it and share it on your social feeds. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and visit lab41.com to see our curated collection of pentesting tools.